driving design and innovation. 3D printing is now a force to be reckoned with. In the world of motor racing, Britain recently unveiled its new Stracodome at the 3D print show in London. The prototype is made of about 5% of 3D printed components, including the brake ducts, air intake, dive planes and dash panel. Up until now, 3D printing was only used to create models. It's not uncommon to use 3D printing for rapid prototyping, which helps a very short development cycle. But what we've moved into now is actual production parts on a race car, which is quite a new um, direction for us to go. We found that the material properties have recently moved forward to a point where they're stiff enough and strong enough and light enough to, to function as a fully finished production component on a race car. 3D printing has come a long way since engineers and designers first started using the technology more than a decade ago, mostly to produce prototypes before embarking on the costly manufacturing process. Now innovative fashion designers are turning to it to create clothes and accessories that can't be made using conventional methods. But there's still a long way to go. Manufacturing with 3D printing is still in a very large evolution. We're still waiting for 3D printed materials that have the right durability and the strength that a textile fiber allows. Uh, we have to understand that 3D printing is a layered, a additive layered technology. And in order to create fiber strength, you actually need to have a continuous a fiber going through the material. Using nature as an inspiration, whereas most 3D printers create structures that are homogenous, researchers are now looking at how silkworms make their cocoons softer inside and stronger outside by using different patterns and amounts of silk fiber.